Hello, and welcome back to Total 14. And uh, last episode we played as Raven B. And this episode we will play as Raven Marissa A. And uh, I turned the music up like 5%. So hopefully it'll be a bit more clear. And one thing I noticed, uh, yeah, the. the for those bad at shooting, it's really, we have really bit rehabilitation. Emerald level, aquamarine level, ruby level, hope diamond level. Why are they named after. uh. Horse. I don't get it. Anyway, normal mode, a relatively easy difficulty, recommended for all ages. Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, so, uh, my opinion, this game's fucking hard. And apparently, uh, Zun, and apparently a lot of people in general, uh, don't share that opinion from what I can tell, because the thing is, like, up until, like, um, I started watching Total World Cup, and, like, I actually, it, I think, like, people were saying, yeah, this game is kind of fucking insane on Lunatic. I've never actually heard anyone else share the opinion that this game is really fucking hard. Because, like, it's, it's not one of the games people talk about when they talk about the Total games that are really hard to beat. It's always like, oh yeah, the Total games that are hard to beat? Uh, well, obviously, 15. It's so fucking hard, because it's literally not even... Because the legacy mode is not even what the game was designed for. It was not designed for uh, point device because it's supposed to be a I want to be the guy type of game. So yeah, that game's bullshit. So of course that game's really hard to beat. But then it's like 11 and 12. Which, yes, those are also really hard to beat. But, like, nobody talks about how hard the game is. Which makes me think that it's just a me thing, except for outside of Lunatic, where, yeah, this game's bullshit. Apparently, like, even the on normal mode games, yeah, it's not that hard, what's wrong with you? you? have trouble with this spammy game? Yes! Yes, I am. I guess one thing I can get into is, uh, yeah, I'm alluded to the fact that I don't like this game. I guess I can talk about this more in a bit when I'm done with the mermaid here. Kinda chilly on the lake, huh? You there. I'm a mermaid, I must have this weird sea-songy voice. Have you come to exterminate me? Hmm? Huh? Yeah, I guess so. A mermaid, though. Mm. Sashimi. Marissa? Alright. Alright, I'll beat you and make my way up in the world. Soon enough, we yokai will be ruling the world. Is that what Sage's plan is? Is Sage is somehow gonna take over the outside world after this shit happens? I don't think that's gonna work too well for you. Oh yeah, uh, Marissa A. Gimmick here, a uh, giant ass fucking flamethrower. So you have to be right in the right in the boss's face to do damage. But, yep, that's an idea for a shot type, I guess. Didn't work too well for Iozonic. I don't think it's gonna work too well here. Hopefully you can actually do damage, unlike Iozonic. I say that because it was game first. And I like probably never played it. Even though I have, it was once like eight years ago. So yeah, I was gonna talk about yeah, part of the reason is is like my story with playing Total games, right? Um I like started playing them not long after I got into the series, like maybe a couple months. And I played like basically I made my way through like one through like eight pretty easily because either continue system. And because I, I, I don't know why, I, I played on normal mode, starting out, and I have no idea why. I just, easy mode exists, you should play it, if you're a new player, but I'm stupid, I didn't. Yep, just a mermaid, no big deal at all. Mm, sashimi? Tempara? Oh no, never mind that. But yeah, I, I started playing the games on normal mode, for some reason. And, yeah, I started with like, 6, 7, and 8. Not in that order, I, I'm pretty sure I started with 8 or 7, I don't remember. 6 was definitely the third one. You know, six is a pain in the ass to get set up, and even to this day, it sometimes just doesn't fucking work. But uh, yeah, I got through six, seven, and eight relatively easily, and then I got to ten. Ten took a while. Ten took really hard. And um, I like played through eleven and twelve. Eleven and twelve took me a really long time. I think I might have skipped them. Like I, I, I like I went to thirteen. Well, oh well. Like well, I'm trying to watch this anyway. I'm not paying too much attention here. Anyway, I got hit. 
but yeah. Okay. I'd probably play 13 before I once see 11 or 12 and beat that game first, because 13, it went back to the normal menu system. And 13, like, isn't that hard, in fact. I, I'm not gonna say it's the easiest game in the series on normal mode, because it still has the issue of it gives you jack shit for resources, so... Like, if you screw up in 13, it's a really big loss, so it's up in other games, not that big video most of the time. That just makes me struggle with, like, hesitate to say that 13 is, like, the easiest game, but it's definitely easier than fucking um, 11 and 12 to 1cc. But yeah, like, 11 and 12 took me a very long time to beat because they're really hard. And I remember, like, reading back then that, you know, those were the hard games to beat, so I was expecting them to be really hard to beat because everyone talks about how those games and 15 like the hardest ones. And, that, and back then, this was like in 2015 or 2016, Cold was like the newest game in So there are yokai here too. I thought shitting under the willows was reserved for that ghost boss. More than you'd expect. Lots of yokai live near the human village too. Oh, I believe we met earlier. And how dare you not be terrified of the sight of me? I mean... Your, your whole point is that you don't have a neck, and that's supposed to be what's scary about you, and you're hiding the fact that you not, don't have a neck. Why would we scare you? You just like, look like an old human from here. That attitude is just what inspired the Yokai Rebellion. But it'll make you too terrified to walk around at night or day. So yeah, I, I, it took forever, but I finally beat 11 and 12. And at that point, I already beat 13. And so basically... Wow, I feel fucking sure. Oh well. I'm not really paying attention. As long as I get to Sakune before losing all my conditions, it's fine. I'm not showing off anything. You know what? Okay, you're the one. Although it's called, like, Dark Spark or something in this game, it's all edgy. Because we're supposed to be taken over by the evil Hakuro or something. So it's just edgy or something. Yeah, anyway, I beat 11 and 12, and I beat 13. At that point, like, from what I decided to like, do, like, understand what people were talking about the game. Like, there was two games. There was 14, there was 15. And 15 was a bad one. It was the bullshit one. It was the not fun one. So I was just like, okay. That's gonna be really bad. But first, there's 14. Nobody's talking about 14 being bad. So, you know, 14, I'll get through 14. It'll be fine. I'll have fun. And then I'll get through the shit fest that will be total 15. And then I play total 14. And not only could I not want to see this game, I couldn't finish it at all! This game was fucking absurdly hard when I first played it. And I eventually just gave up. I never once to see 14. And then I also and that that's not the only game left to play was 15. I was like, that game's also gonna suck to play. So I stopped playing Dole games. Completely. For a very, very long time. So uh yeah, this game. In conjunction with the fact that 15 was the only game left to play, uh, made me stop playing these games. But yeah, I don't like this game very much. But what's with you? You're actually strong? Of course I am. If I was weak, I'd be sleeping. Now then, gotta dish out the death penalty to bad girls. Uh oh, what? Ah. Well, these days are so uncouth. Look, he ran. Wish I could have prided with my hacker roll. Yeah, I think that's for, that's the gimmick with the A shots is that they're being possessed by the, the, the they're being made violent by their instruments. So they keep talking about killing people, but nobody dies in no one, so. unless you're a random fucking throwaway character from the manga. Who's, I swear, his only existence is to be like, yeah, Rainbow totally killed people. I just never show it because that's not what the series is about. Anyway, yeah, 14. I, I don't like this game. Because it basically made me stop playing the game for a while. In fact, like, there were pro- I think- that, I remember there being, like, there were occasionally, over the years, I would occasionally play some of the games. Like, I definitely played 10 a couple times. I think I tried to play 11 a couple times and never succeeded again. I think I played 7, or, seven and 8 a couple times, too. But other than that, like, I basically stopped playing these games. And it wasn't until last year, basically, where I started playing these games again. I think it was 
probably told World Cup that got me to do that. I think I start, started watching, yeah, I started watching Total World Cup in the uh, 2021 year, I think. So, it's been watching in 2022 that maybe decided to start playing the game again. I think it was also around that time that I was watching, I think Asprey was trying to beat Total 13. And I think watching those streams maybe want to play Total 13 again. But yeah, I played Total 13. And I beat that, but um, apparently I forgot to save my replay of that because, yeah, my first time once seeing a total game in like years was me doing 13 as Yobo, and I just didn't save the replay. And then the second time I did that, I went on to total 10. And then after that, like basically every 1cc I did was um, I would upload as a video. Which is what that total replay playlist started as until I started just playing games without it being a replay. Because I couldn't beat the game. It started with, uh, I think, Dream Watch the World was the first one. I just couldn't beat the fucking game. It was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go through a run through this game just to show it off, but I'm not beating it, so I saw what the game played. Did, did Marissa say something that I just skipped on accident? You've come to exterminate me, yes? Ah, well, if you say so. Can you defeat me, I wonder? The bamboo forest is... Long Garen? What does that say? Garen? What does that even mean? Yeah, probably. That glossy hair of yours looks like it catches fire real easily. Huh? Fire? I don't think certain types of hair catch fire easier than others, person. Speaking of hair, look at Marissa's, like, her hair. Look how, like, many, many hair... Look at the detail of that hair. Isn't that weird? I feel like there's, like, a... Yeah, there's definitely a difference in the art style of this game when it comes to hair. Really know his support. This hacker will burn you up without leaving a trace. Oh ho, if you think you can hit me, try it. But you'll regret fighting me in this blessed in this place blessed by the moon. Yeah, I think I mentioned in the like previous episode that I like don't like this game's resource gimmick, and that can be easily tell by the fact that I'm basically like not using it right now. Yeah, I've died twice, but I also haven't been using the resource gimmick. I have like no resources to pop it back Yeah, that's another big reason why I just couldn't it's impossible for me to succeed this game, is because I don't know what to collect the resources appropriately, because I swear it's like, okay, go to the top of the screen at appropriate times. It's like, you know, where's the appropriate times when I feel like there's bullets all over the fucking screen every time, and every time I try to go up to you get hit, I then lose a life, and you know, so it's not a good idea to try to get extra lives and you get hit every time you try to do a thing that gets you extra lives, you know. He's saying I hate this more than the UFO gimmick. It's definitely probably a, a very hot take. Get it, hot take? Because I'm killing Kagura with a flamethrower. Ah. But yeah, I hate the I hate the UFO gimmick too. Don't get me wrong, but I think I hate this game a bit more. And probably just my bias because I don't like this game in general. I don't like UFO in general either. Like, outside of this game, UFO is definitely my second. fact, um, yeah, probably I did that thing where I tried, where I went through all the games in one CC than last year, and definitely the biggest hurdles to me doing that, because, like, as I actually went, like, surprisingly well, I did that on my first try, so, like, the biggest hurdle between me trying to one CC all these games was definitely this game, and Total 12, which is exactly what I knew that would be, because I'm fucking terrible at this game, and not, I'm pretty bad at 12 too, but 12 is also a game that people talk about me. Uh oh. Wolf girl, huh? Why didn't you go all out? Huh? I was trying to, though. But you'd be stronger if you tore off those restrictive clothes. Marissa, you can't you can't just tell people to take the clothes off. You can't do that, Marissa. It's okay. Yes, well, on nights of full moons, I get thick fur. Thick by wolf standards, you mean? Eh, whatever. I can roast a half beast in my heart's content. Eek! My cut my my cuticle. I don't know what that is. I'll give you a full body afro. Eh, don't need to go that far. Well, probably.
Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, it took me a while to 1cc 14. Like I said, I had to use spell practice and stuff to beat it. But because I used spell practice, it didn't take, like, that long. I think I was able to do it in, like, two days. Fucking UFO? Oh my god. I had so many goddamn runs that, that like, barely didn't beat the Ocarin. Like, if there was, like, the closest I got to just saying fuck it and giving up and trying to force to see all the normal games and trying to get through the UFO. Fucking hate that game so much. I got so sick of dying, of losing my continue to like the last three attacks of the Geocrine spell card. Of the Geocrine attack over and over again. But I fucking eventually did it, and I literally did it because of luck. If you like to watch my, my UFO play, the only reason I managed to cap the Geocrine's final before I died was because Hitbox Chicanery allowed me to win. You know what? I'll do that. Fuck for me. Like, yep, did it. I'm never touching UFO on normal again. I hate that game so much. And it's funny too, because you look at that, it's kind of like. Kind of like Little Doll Queen in a way, where, you know, I had max lives and then I just fucking lost all of them. It's like that with UFO, because I've been, I managed to, like, get good at the UFO, like, resource collection at some point, to where I would have, like, max lives by Marasa. And still lose. Because I fucking die a million times from a Ross and a Biafra. Fucking hate Toad 12. Oh. Yeah, Toad 12. That was like the closest I got to just saying fuck it and giving up. But I eventually died by eventually win it. And then, you know, I got to play 13 for a bit. Because, you know, my, my Yobu 13 replay uh, didn't exist because I forgot to make it. I guess, I guess press the wrong button or something, because I thought I made it, and then I went and looked back and wasn't there, so I guess I just made it. So I had to play some 13 again. Just to have a replay, just so I could play it, because it was kind of a series at that point. And then, you know, then I did, then I did 14. And, you know, I eventually did it. By that point, it wasn't smooth sailing yet, because, you know, after that was 15. And, you know, it just took me, like, you know, three hours to be told 15 on point device mode on normal. You know, just, just three hours. An entire album, which was just Cloud Beast. Because, the thing about Cloud Beast, right, is you could just bomb through all Cloud Beast bullshit, but if you did that, then you wouldn't have enough bombs to bomb through Junko's bullshit. So, I tried not to bomb through Cloud Beast bullshit, and I, I was there for an hour. These sudden clouds are really something. No doubt there's a bad guy in here. Found you! You look like you could be a good opponent. Boy, I found a quick aged Biwa. Always works to search an area full of belligerent yokai. Hey, hold on, I found her first. It's dirty coming in and stealing her from me, big sis. I'm like five minutes older than you. Why not? I saw your battle earlier too. Your lackluster music just won't work. Not for defeating the Sukumo Gami user. This Sukumo Gami user. Are you a Sukumo Gami user? I thought you were a Sukumo Gami yourself. Does count? Does using yourself count as being a user? Whoa! Watch with this. Two Sukumo Gami. Great stuff. Both of you bring it on. No, Marissa. You really don't want a double battle. Trust me. We don't need. We don't need two powerful Sukumo Gami here. You should stand back. I skip something? Probably. Hmm, well, whatever, I'll leave her to use this. Later! Hey, chicken! Hold on, I'm your opponent. If this is in this in this world where life is strong, of social upheaval, where everything is turned on its head, never fear the fall. Who is the strongest tool? We'll decide that here and now. I have no extra lives realize that. <laughs> oh well. Doesn't matter. I will I well, I didn't want to see the game last time because I quit. I quit the game. I, I would have. So you know, I can I can prove the fact that I could beat this on easy if I was really paying attention. Which I shouldn't need to prove anyway because I'm proving that I can beat it on normal barely. Yeah, I eventually got to 14, and that was barely a win. I think I said in the last part, like, I, I literally, I think I finished that with zero life and zero bombs. I think I did that for 12, too. I don't know why that happens so often. I swear it happens, like, a lot, where I'll just, like, I'll barely win with no resources. I, I don't know why. And 
Because, yeah, the 15, it took three hours. Fucking terrible. Because I tried, I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of that Clown Beast fight was me trying to beat it without bombs, and then just saying, fuck it, just bombs. And then, like, stage six, and Junko took me an hour. Like, that recording was three hours long, and two of those hours was, like, Clown Beast, and after that, yeah, I... Junko didn't take me as long as Clown Beast, because I used my bombs, because there was nothing else for me to use, and I could use it all at that point. In fact, um, the big bad final of Junko spell, I only did it like once, I think, because I had like three bombs and I bombed the fuck through that thing. Oh my god. Yeah, here's a problem. You see how Marissa needs to be like in front of the boss's face to do any damage and you're forced to get a bottom of the screen. That's a problem with this shot. Yes. I think this is the worst. I think this is one of the worst shots in the game. I think this had like the highest ice score in the whole world cup. Because the winning match was like a one miss for this character. Fine, I give, I give. I admit defeat. I'll work. Never any bad. You thought your lame instrument could match my mini hacker role? Well, unfortunate, but oh well. We yield the title of strongest Sakumogami to you. Sakumogami? Wait, wait, what, what did you say? T to me? Now, you should go ahead. Go ahead? Up to where? Uh, the inverted castle, obviously. Because that's where all our power is flowing from. Yeah, anyway, I got through 15. And then, like, months later, I, I went through 15 on Legacy mode. On Easy mode. And managed to beat that. And turned that into a music edit. Because, lol. And then, you know, then 16 happened. Oh yeah, 15 is also the point where like I started buying the games on Steam, so like doing that actually started costing me money. Because like I had every game up to 14 already on my computer and was downloading them years ago. But you know, once I got to 15, you know, I had to buy them. Because you know they're on Steam. I don't have the excuse of like Because you know, years ago I had the excuse of uh, there was no way for me to pay for these games because they're not like easily available, so that's why, you know. I used an ice house for the other games, but now once you got to 15, it's like, I, I actually have to buy the game, and I want to play it, so then, like, I like, these games are like $15 a pop, it's like, I don't know, I, I, I'm not gonna debate whether that's worth it or not, but I'm just saying, for a cheapskate like me, $15 is, is, is a lot for, like, one video of content. This is one of the main reasons why I went back and played 15 again is because I spent $15 on that goddamn game. I'm gonna try to get some more use out of it. Yeah, I, I, you know, I bought 15, I bought, uh, yeah, then I bought 16, and then 16 took me a bit, and I ended up, basically I played through the game four times, and the fourth time was when I beat it. And the fourth time was also when I used Summer. Which, Summer is like a really good one that you can use for abuse. Which is what I did when I played the game again for the Music Edit video. But that just happened to be the last one that I used, and Marissa happened to also be the last character that I used. So, the, the replay that ended up winning and being posted was a Marissa Summer one. So yeah, I only played that game like four times until the dance video was the fifth one and then I just get it with the sixth one so I haven't played Total 16 that much. Total 17, I, I played through it once on old mode as Yobu and then barely didn't once you see it and then I think I played as Raymu Wolf and then beat it. So I've only actually played through Toho 17 on old mode twice. And uh... Since then, I've done the dance video. This was also like a Don't Use Swords video. It was a sequel to the 13 video. What? Who are you? This is no place for humans like you. Take your leave at once. I'm a Shikumogami. That's what the previous character says. Give it the program. Don't wanna. You have to leave me empty handed from an interesting place like this. Uh oh, a tool in your hand. Looks like it has a mind of its own. You wanna ally with us too? You're spoiling the ending. Ally, what? What are you scheming? 
We are the topsy, the topsy turvy resistance. That's a, that's a great name. Why have I never seen anyone use that name in anything? That's a fantastic name. With the princess's treasure, it will turn good Tokyo on its head. Oh, right. Oh, huh, right. That sounds bad. You're a powerless yokai only just born, aren't you? Yo yokai, what? So what's happening here? Don't be silly, I'm a human. This is definitely not a canon route. Oh well, I won't mind that you're hu like you're human if you're an ally. As if I support turning against Shokyo on its head. Oh, that's too bad. That's a Kumogami. Hakuro's crying, you know. Its owner falling out of the sky will be the last thing it sees. I guess before I talk about 18, I don't know. One thing I was, I was gonna, I think I was gonna talk about last episode if I say that I forgot about was, you know, I, I haven't played 16 that much, and the previous times I have is when I was using Summer, so I was able to just, like, cheese through most of the game. But I say, I talked about how Sage is, like, the worst Stage 5 boss in the series. Uh, those fucking dancers, they, they might be worse, they might be. But I haven't had to, like, properly fight them in a long time. But if I didn't, they wasn't able to just bomb and sub season my way through it, uh, the dancers are probably worse because I have no fucking idea what's going on in most of their attacks. And their fucking. their, their angles are off. So yeah, the dancers might be worse, but I haven't had to, like, actually figure out what's going on like I had to with Sage in order to beat this in order to beat the game. Yeah, 17 I played twice and then I moved on to 18. You can think about 18. I really like 18. I would say 18 is probably like in my top four or five. I just ran right into that. Good job me. Like 10 is my favorite. And then you know I like I like full eight and full seven. Stuff. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I like 18 more than those, but I like 18 quite a bit, and I like it so much, in fact, that I decided to play through it enough times to get every single card. And because of that, there was actually a video I made where I, I made it through easy mode without getting hit, so I just made that an extra video. And, uh, yeah, and that's when I started doing extra stages for a bit, because this is one thing I didn't find out until I collected every single other card in the game, is that in order to get every card in the game, you have to get Momo to use a card, and I thought in order to get Momo to use a card, you had to, like, just visit the shop that shows up before Momo Yo's fight. Nope, that's not where it is. Nope, what you gotta do is you gotta beat Momo Yo if you want to use a card. So, uh, I was already that close to having every card in the game, so I just said, fuck it, I'm gonna beat this stupid extra stage. And I did. Eventually. Not very fun. I don't like Momo Yo's fight at all. It's pretty fucking stupid for a lot of it, especially the fake moments. And it's another attack. Yeah, I don't like Momo Yo's fight, but I managed to get my way through it eventually through the power of stacking a bunch of shot type power cards. Yeah, what the heck? Was it too soon? Geez, what was this? So disappointing. I was expecting a way fiercer battle with Momo. With that power, I'm wanting your cooperation more and more. As long as we have the treasure, you too can become as strong as you like. Did you say... Treasure? I wonder if this next plea will trigger a change of heart? Hey, wait! Hmm. Treasure. Actually, my goal here was to find treasure. So, yeah, I guess I'd better chase after him. What is Marissa's goal, anyway? Marissa's goal in these games is usually just to go solve the incident because she thinks it's interesting. It's not like she has to do it, like, right with us. Yeah, I beat all 18's extra stage, and it took fucking forever, but I got the goddamn cards, so I got every card in 18. And that's when, that's when I thought the, the extra stage journey was going to begin. Because then I went and I went and I played the 18. Or went, went, through, went back to 17 to do 17's extra stage, and I managed to do that one in like a couple hours. I used 
stage practice, because that was before I had TH practice, so I did some stage practice, and I went through some runs, and I eventually beat Saki. I you know I, I, I used the glitch where you just don't have to deal with the timeout spell, but timeout spells suck ass anyway, so who cares? I beat 17 extra stage without too much fuss, and I thought, you know, I've been going through the games backwards, so you know, next I'll do. Um, Okina. And you know, that, that extra stage, that's like a pivotal plot, plot point of the story, right? The game's technically not even finished until you beat the extra stage. It's not like other games in this series, where like the extra stage is like a bonus, that's not part of the main story. No, so, um, you don't beat Okina in the main story, um, 16, because Okina's so fucking cool and stuff. You, you think you can beat Okina on your first try? No way, man. So you, you don't actually beat Okina until the extra stage, which guess, which guess means I never actually beat Okina before so beating that extra stage, because the extra stage. I hate that extra stage so much. Yeah, I, I, it was it didn't take me long to give up. And then I started, and then I tried to do Ron stage for a bit. Looks like it's all bright outside now. Refreshing. Man, I feel kind of bold now, like I can rule out it against Okios. Who's there? Wow, it's that famous magician. Have you come to turn the world on its head with me? Nope. Uh. Oh, oh, yeah, right, I came to receive my treasure. Ha <laughs> I knew it! I can see that your heart thirsts for power! Uh, what? I might, it might be reassuring to have a human ally. Due to the physical traits of us inchlings, no matter what we do, we're powerless. Almost nobody allied with us, we were just used and tossed afterwards. You're an inchling? You don't look so small to me. Place. Now that I have the power to get big, I have the chance to overturn the world. You'll be supporting me too, won't you? Hmm. Flipping the world sounds kind of fun. Eh. Can't make a mess of my house, so I don't want to help. Then why did you want the power of my treasure? Look, I don't know what the treasure is in the first place. Oh, that's funny. You want e you want even more power from the tool you have? I can do that with this, the legendary Miracle Mallet. Wait, Miracle? Mallet, the one that can grant any wish? That's right, it can grant the power of dreams to all the weak ones. Now, treasure mallet, move the heart of this human, Marissa Kirazame. I do wonder if, because clearly this Marissa now didn't happen. So I wonder if the, like, the canon way this works is that some weird combination of all the, the story for the B shots happened. Because I guess none of the A shots happened because the A shots they the characters be it become the evil or something. I don't know. So yeah, I hate T I hate 16's extra stage and I gave up on it pretty quickly because I just hated everything. Oh yeah, the dancers were back in that stage too. They suck in that stage too. Yep. And Oki is pretty bad. My favorite part about that stage is it gives you like a shot that forces you to like shoot backwards. So everything just comes from behind you in that stage and it's awful. It's really awful. Yeah, I gave up on that extra stage pretty quickly and then I tried to do wrong for a bit. But see, the thing is when I started trying to do wrong, that was when my semester started again. And I'll be honest, I, that was a pretty busy semester. I did not want to spend the limited free time I had trying to beat that stupid box. So I gave up. And that was the end of extra stages for a while until I, for some reason, decided I wanted to beat the limit extra stages. And then I did, and now I'm done with extra stages. Because I tried to beat Ron again a couple weeks ago, and then I died at the same time while I was blowing up. Because that's a cool feature. Make it to where you can die when the boss is blowing up. I mean, why would you make it to where you win when you win, right? Nope. I'm like, okay, fuck you. I'm done with extra stages forever. And all that. Oh yeah, I guess in between like playing extra stages before I before I realized that I was going to stop playing extra stages, I was doing a thing. I didn't win. Oh well. I made it last part and then I don't finish the run anyways. So I heating up the bowl here. I kinda like cooking the small child, you know. For the evil Mercer. Evil evil Mercer out, you know. 
Yeah, I had this thing for a while where I was playing like fan games in between extra stages, and then I gave up on extra stages. So basically, I played fan games for a while until I ran out of fan games. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened, right? I played fan games until I ran out of fan games, and then I moved on to Linen because I ran out of total fan games. And then eventually I went back and played those total fan games. Again, because when I got to Linen 4, I started doing commentary videos, and I thought, you know what would be a good idea for content if I went back to these previous games and talked about them. And I did. And then I ran out of games again. And then I started playing Linen again. And now I've run out of Linen. So now I'm just playing the main games. Because I've run out of content, I guess. I don't know. I will go to this 14. Maybe go through it for 17, but after that, there's like no more games that really have like deep dialogue from different shot types. I'm pretty sure every other game it's like if you play as a new rank, no matter which rank you play as, you have the same dialogue. That's what makes like a couple of these games unique. Yep, that's fucking hate this spell. Oh my god, I hate you. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is, this is back in time when uh, the, the hitbox is still different, right? I think it was total 16 that changed that. Yep, Clarissa's hitbox is still gigantic. Decision I never really understood. Like, why? Just why is Marissa's hitbox bigger than Ramu's? Like, honestly, why? Is Marissa really a much? Is Marissa even a better shot than Ramu is most of the time? Like, would Marissa like just be a better shot than Ramu if the whole big hitbox thing wasn't a thing? I, I doubt that because she's not always a better shot in the newer games, even though they have the same hitbox now. Yeah, having characters have different hitboxes, I, I don't know. It's not something I never really understood why you would do that, because it just, it's just a, a blatant buff that certain characters get for no real reason. The only reason you would give that buff is if the shot was objectively worse in other ways, and I don't think Ringu is most of the time. So it just seems like an unfair disadvantage that Marissa has for games. For no real reason. Anyway, yep. I'm done doing this, I'm going to record this all today, because I don't know what the next time people record is, but the next time I made, record Tone 17, I might not, I don't know, but after I do record Tone 17, after I finish recording Tone 17, I don't know, I might, I might finally be done with Schmucks, I've said I might be done with Schmucks like 15 times now and I always come back, but I might finally be done simply because I ran out of content ideas. I almost forgot to return the title screen. And like I said, I don't want to get into a new shmup- I said this in a previous video, I don't want to get into a new shmup series just because, you know, it's a shmup series. I want to- I get into these series because I got into other aspects of them first, and then I got into the game afterwards. Anyway, it's 38 minutes. That was about as long as the last video, I think. Anyway, that was uh, Marissa A, and that's probably the play. Marissa B, where Marissa will not burn people alive. Uh, see that?